What's up everybody, this is Justin Cussman again, and uh, this time I'm going to show you some uh, slightly more advanced ways to edit, or at least some different ways to edit some uh, video clips in Adobe Premiere. So what I've got here is a uh, Premiere file pulled up. I've got a couple different clips of video down in our bin down here, and uh, first off, just the traditional way to edit. Uh, remember, you can grab a clip, drag and drop onto the timeline over here. So let me plug one of the clips onto the timeline and kind of show you what uh, what I'm talking about. And again, I'm going to keep my existing settings. So here's my clip. Again, traditionally, like I said, you can, uh, like I've said before in uh, previous tutorials, you can edit this by some pretty simple means of just dragging the beginning of the clip here uh, to shorten it. You can use the razor tool uh, to chop the clip, delete the other pieces. That's that's one way to edit. It's a pretty simple way of uh, dragging your clips around and editing. But there's, I think there's a little more effective way if you have multiple clips to edit your uh, video and I'm gonna show you that right now. So what I prefer to do in this circumstance is actually edit your video in your source window. I think this is a little more effective and a little faster. So all you've gotta do for this, you've got all your clips down here that you can scrub over the top of uh, to preview. And say, for instance, I know out of this clip, it's a little clip of some roller derby stuff here. Uh, if I scrub over this clip and say I want to keep just this section right through here because there's a little more action coming through this section. Easy way to keep this clip is right up top here. You've got two little buttons that will help you out a lot while you're editing in this source window. You've got a mark in button and a mark out button. I is the keyboard shortcut for this and O is the keyboard shortcut for that. Definitely want to use those because that's a lot faster when you're editing. So say, for instance, I wanted to start right about here. Move your playback head to the right spot, snip your mark in. Now notice right over here it's a darker gray here, it's a lighter gray. That shows where the end point of your video clip is. And let's just say I want to grab a couple of seconds of video here and I'm going to snap my out point. There we go. Now all you got to do, this is why this is so easy, grab this video up here, drag and drop, pop it onto your timeline. Now, again, it's a slightly different uh, setting, so I'm going to keep my existing settings here uh, on my timeline. But now you can see we've got this uh, narrowed down clip. Now it's a little bit small, so let me blow this up a little bit. Remember to scale your video. You can select it and scale it, or you can go into your effect controls up here and go to scale. We'll scale it up so we can see what's going on here. And if I scrub, there we go, I've got that little bit of a clip there. Now, keep in mind this is nonlinear editing. And uh, so none of this is really destructive editing techniques. It doesn't matter if I, if I didn't grab enough of this clip, I can still very easily grab the end over here and my icon uh, for my pointer here turns red and I can extend this clip. Again, it's not destructive. We're not really destroying anything. I can always add more to this if I want. Uh, as you can see, this works really well for multiple clips. Like say if I wanted a little bit of this animation in there as well, I can go in and I can grab a piece of it here, and I can snip this in point, I'll snip this out point, drag and drop, and it drag and drops that into my, my bin, and now I've got these two clips composited together. Okay, So I think that's one of the most effective ways, an easy way to do some editing here. Uh, just a couple of other tools that'll help you out a little bit. In your bin here, you've got uh, ripple edit and roll edit and some rate stretch, things of this nature you can kind of mess with um, that I haven't really talked about. Uh, the ripple edit tool here, if you grab this tool and click and drag here, okay, so we've got a couple other ones here. Um, the ripple edit and roll edit, like we'll just kind of see what these do. As you drag this ripple edit, see how I kind of created a little bit of space here between my two clips? The ripple will keep that distance between this clip and the next clip. Say if I drag this one back here, Okay, and with my regular uh, selection tool, and then I select my ripple edit again. Okay, see how that pushes that all down the line. So this is a great tool for editing a track and then trying to push everything further down the track to keep your pacing uh, there on it. It's a pretty interesting tool to use. So that I figured I'd just show you a little bit of that. Uh, the rolling edit tool here as well. Okay, we have these two two uh, tools here. The rolling edit tool. Okay. Now the rolling edit, like say if I have these two clips on the same line here. Traditionally, if I were going to grab this clip and drag and drop, see, see if uh, with my regular selection tool here, I try and go to the left here and uh, this tool doesn't move my first clip. It just, it just kind of stops at that point. I'm kind of blocked off from moving it. The rolling edit tool, this thing will let me grab and drag and drop 
these clips and see how it adjusts the video so that both of these clips stay notched together. It's a pretty handy tool if you'd like to keep these starting points of your tools consistent. Okay, so there's there's a couple of tools that may help you out a little bit, maybe make your life a little bit easier while you're editing. Uh, the third thing I want to show you real quick is just sequences, nested sequences. So say for instance I've got this exactly the way I want it. I've got this little clip of roller derby and I've got this little bit of animation. And again, neither of these two have anything to do with each other, but that doesn't matter. Uh, what I can do is, is I can edit these two internally. And say I want to put these two into one clip that I can put an effect over the top of. Say I want to turn these black and white or something of that nature. What I can do is actually create a new sequence. Okay, and say I call this like master sequence. Okay, I can now take this sequence that I just created, sequence one here. I can drop out of my bin sequence one. Okay, drag and drop this into my master sequence, and notice it contains my two clips from previously. And now I can do things like go into my effects bin and apply a black and white filter. And I can now drag and drop that on top of my whole sequence. And notice it turns the entire sequence black and white. So this is great if once you've done some editing internally and you want to have some, some levels control, some color control, things of that nature with these effects, and you want it to apply to the entire uh, bit of video that you're cutting, so the, the whole film sequence, if you, if you will, this is a great way of doing that and, and containing this sequence all in one. Now I can put text and titles over the top of it. This is really awesome too. Uh, these are linked, these two sequences. So now if I go back to this one and say, for instance, I know I want, you know, and this will be a little bit shorter. I'm going to shorten up the second clip and I'm going to pop a little bit of a third clip in there. Maybe uh, this one right here. And actually that's way too much. So let me go in here and edit a little just piece of this clip, just like I did before, in point, out point. And I'm going to drag and drop that inside here. And again, that may be still a little bit too long. So let me shorten that up quite a bit. I'm going to drag and drop that in there, get rid of this longer one. Uh, and now I'm just going to squash this between those two. So let me snap that to here, uh, shrink that up a little bit, snap this to here. Okay. And now I've got three clips inside here. One, two, three. Oh, actually I deleted my uh, meet and greet video here, the little, little bottom one. So let me snip this bit back out and drop that in here. So I've got one, two, Three. Now, all these changes, I've been making a bunch of changes in the sequence one composition. If you notice, if I go back to master sequence, okay, these things are all included. There's that other little bit of video I added, the reduced uh, clip here. So all that stuff has, is live updated inside your master sequence. So it's great. So you can have lots of nested sequences here, edit those each individually, a bunch of video clips individually, say if you wanted to color correct a bunch of individual shots, and then slap them inside a master sequence, which is a lot easier to control. Well, there you go. There's some, some uh, slightly more advanced editing tips for you. I hope you enjoyed it. Again, if you've got any specific uh, tutorials that you'd want me to do, just email me, justincussman at gmail.com, and I'll do my best to get those done for you. All right. Thanks.